How you doing, YouTube? Matt Mass of Beer Reviews, back with a little bit of Magnify up in this piece in the form of their Can I Help You? This be a 6.6% IPA. It was canned. Magnify throws their dating somewhere in the label. Or do they? I know they do. They typically throw it somewhere over here, but I do not see it. Some of their stuff actually gets dated some does not. I think the stuff that leaves the brewery might get dated. So, if anybody knows the date on this, I am reviewing it on the 21st of February. This comes courtesy of my boy Mike. Yeah, he um, we did a little socially distanced handoff, and there's some uh, there's some magnifying there. So we'll see what's what. 6.6. It's kind of my my uh, wheelhouse for where I like my IPAs to stand. Label wise, it's what Magnify does. Crazy all over the place kind of stuffy stuff. And as far as the beer goes, it looks like infinitely drinkable, chuggable, hazy, not turbid, not like butternut squash soup, more kind of like old school pineapple juice, but there's little dark particulates floating around there. I typically don't get on hazies. Let's see if there's anything specific about this can. No. 6.6% hazy IPA. So it looks the part. Index finger. Wait is weak. No, that's khaki. You just out the khaki colored head. Rich orange core. Let's see if you can get a nose. I'm getting some scallion -y vibes on this. I'm getting a little bit of funky vibes and get a little scallion -y vibes. I'm not getting much as far as fruit goes. Yeah. It really does come off as a little oniony garlicky jammer. I think I got that. Another beer that Mike gave me, I think I got that off of, off them. So maybe they're kind of leaning into that direction as of late. I don't know. But I like it. I mean, I wish there was more fruit component to the way the hops kind of come off. But it doesn't come off really showy. Except for that subtle little garlicky scallion thing. Let's dive in. Cheers. I mean, it really does lean into that garlicky scallion thing. The th problem here is it's relatively kind of unimpressive or in thin throughout the rest of the beer. You get this little pop melon characteristic. Just at the beginning. Very much kind of like an underripe and honeydew. Then immediately comes in that little bit of scallion garlic thing. And it all kind of slowly kind of tapers off. A little bit of bittering uh, towards the back. Relatively thin beer, especially for how it looks and its style of beer. Not a negative beer by any stretch of imagination, but kind of like, just kind of there. Drinks more like five than six and a half. I'll give it the props it deserves for that level of that garlicky scallion thing, because I don't get that a ton. So I'm always a big fan of, 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 uh, of that when I get it in a beer. Yeah, tasty. Drinkable. But at the same time, you know, this is one of those beers I think, you know, let's say I was at hanging with buddies and we're not necessarily doing like a beer share, but we're all kind of, we brought a bunch of uh, singles and we're kind of just ripping through them, chatting, and having fun, doing all that kind of stuff. And I get to this one and go, okay, that's nice. And I just keep talking. Um, that's where this beer kind of lands for me as far as impact. So yeah, nothing crazy, quite tasty, done and done. Is it one of the better IPAs I've had as of late? I mean, it's worthy of being in a conversation. Just not anything. It's not like towards the top or anything. It's just TC. Well done. Beer. What do you want? Uh, value and availability. I'm assuming six and a half. Magnify. This is probably right around 15 bucks. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong. Magnify people or people in the Magnify universe or Mike or anybody in the know. And leave you with if you like what we like this. If you like that scallony garlicky thing. That's the biggest thing that really does kind of pop out of this beer. So if that's your jam then this is going to do you because it's giving you that. But if you want a bit more of complexity and a little bit more depth to a beer, you might find it being a little bit lacking, but I don't think you're going to be disappointed. And you're going to be like, okay, that was tasty. That was fun. Done. So there you go. Another review in the books. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Down there, if you want to talk about it, massive beers. Excuse me. If you want to check me out doing the social media stuff, Beer Massif. If you want to check me out doing the whole podcasting thing, and hopefully you guys enjoyed the review. Hopefully enjoying a little magnify right now. Hopefully see you next time. Cheers.